Hey everybody, we are back. Uh, went and got everything, so we're gonna get this motor together. I decided to go ahead and do the video, but anyway, there's 13 horse Harbor Freight. You can see it's dusty, it's been sitting in the shop. I pulled this off another project, but it's a good running motor, so I'm gonna use this. Everything just like I left it in the unboxing video. So if you ain't seen that, I'll leave it in the end of this video. And this is not the boat this is going on. This is a future project, needs a little work, but it'll give me a transom to kind of set everything up with. So I went and drug it out. But like I said, this is not the boat this is going on. I got a lot better boat, but it'll give me a transom to work on. So everything's here, everything's unboxed, and I don't think anybody with any basic knowledge is going, not going to have a problem with this. They have some very nice detailed instructions good pictures i mean it's it's really well laid out so i was trying to think i think the other much skipper motor one of the first ones from a long time ago didn't even come with instructions i could be wrong it's been a few years ago but anyway like i said very detailed i did notice one thing i glazed through this real quick on page 13 when it tells you to go get a battery it goes seven to nine 12 volt, 230 cranking amp, and then 16 to 23, 12 volt, 500 cranking amp. This is a 13, which goes in the 8 to 13 range, so, you know, kind of in between, but uh, no big deal. Just get the bigger battery. Always go bigger is better. So, anybody freaks out. And when this was in there, so you'll get some cool stickers if you got this, which I will be putting on my truck. <laughs> so, anyway. All right, I'm going to, sorry about that, about drop camera, but I'm gonna get all this undone, cleaned up, unpackaged, and turn the camera on. I bought a handful of tools, but probably don't have all of them, so I'll go get what I don't need, what I forgot, I'll check, and when I get everything unboxed, which I mean it's unboxed, but unwrapped, I should say, I'll be back, I'll turn the camera on, and we'll start putting everything right here. So, I'll turn the camera on and get there, see you in a bit. All right, everybody. Something I wanted to cover. I ordered an extra nylon bushing that come with mine. I'm guessing that was it. I figured it'd be loose in the box, but I uh, went to put this on. There's a wooden bushing in here, and I don't like that. Everything I've seen on a lot of the mud motor forums and stuff said these wear out real quick anyway, and that's why I went ahead and ordered this. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this. And the way you do that, there's three screws on the top of this. There's one back here. And then there's two up here, if the camera will pick it up, right on the end by the prop. They're little old, look like wood screws. I don't know if I can pick it up. They got a, they're coarse thread and they got a real sharp point like a wood screw. But anyway, I'm going to put a little grease on that and tap it down in there and then put the screws all back in. But I, you can leave it in if you want, but me, I'm going to go ahead and change this out. Uh, that was kind of a curveball. I figured it'd have a nylon in it, but it had this one. So. I'm going to go ahead and put this nylon or plastic or whatever it is in here and be done with it. And the way I got that out after I got the three screws, I just took some channel locks and got around it and just worked it back and forth. So, sorry I didn't record it, but like I said, that was kind of a curveball on me. And I just went ahead and was doing it. So, I'll get this changed and then we'll be back. So, I'll see you in a bit. All right, everybody. Back, got the nylon in. Wasn't too bad. Put a little grease on it, shoved it back in there. Got the screws back in there. So, Step one of this, according to directions, that right there, get that transom clamp on there. Let's get it cinched down. Good enough for now, because it ain't staying on this boat anyway. So, get these off. Bear with me, might be a close up. All right. And then, oh, what I do with it? Aha. This piece with the grease shirt and all the adjustment holes, that's the next piece. Yeah, bear with me. And I'm trying to do everything, hold the camera. So, get all that done. There we go. And 
and tight. I know someone's probably going to mention it. I got one nut on one side, one on the other. I kind of like to do that. I don't know why. It just seems the way I was taught, I guess. Kind of puts load on one a little bit on each side. So Anyway, grease her out. And then this piece. Hopefully it'll come off. Take the nut off. Like I said, everybody, I'm not going to super detail it. So, I mean, the instructions are really, really good. They're just kind of a basic overview. You can get in the details on the instructions. So, and, uh, mainly just kind of throw it together, let you see it, and give you a look at what it looks like on the boat. All right. That on. All right. So, if that's too tall, we can adjust that out. And we need this and the nut in the washer. Alrighty. Hang on, bear with me here. I might have to set the camera down to get this one done. Yeah, I'm going to have to, so. Hang on, I'll turn it on when I get to that point, but. All we're going to do is put this little goofy little transom stop deal on the, it goes under the motor, just the height right here. I'm going to get it on this shaft that goes under this plate. So I'll get that on and I'll turn the camera back on to see here in just a second. All right, everybody. Got it on. Give you a little tip on this little bracket right here when you go to put it in. As soon as those threads for the base plate right here sticks out of the bottom, Make sure you shove that up in there because the further up this was, it wasn't near as tight and it went through a lot easier. I guess it's made that way where this one slipped down or something. But anyway, they're going to point that out. Now, next deal, we're just going to set the engine on here and put four loose bolts in it. And then we'll start on the rest of the body and stuff. So, I'll get the engine set here, bolt stuck in it, and turn it on a little bit and show you where we're at from there. All right, everybody, getting ready to take this off. These 12 millimeter, let's see, these right here are 21, so you can do two 21s and a crescent or whatever you want. And these are 21s as well, so of course I had to go get one. I grabbed 8, 10, and 12. Usually everything Chineseium is 8, 10, 12, so but anyway, let me get this off and let's see what's in here. Bear with me a minute here. We'll see, because there's something in here. I figured I'd make sure to record this. That way everybody knows what to look for. Or what to expect, I guess I should say. Well, that was a stubborn one. Alright. Getting close. Get this off. Bear with me. One-handed. And one to go. Hopefully the sun ain't making everything miserable. For the camera, it is for me. Just trying to see through the camera, make sure I'm recording this all. All so. right, and we have, okay. This will go on the motor shaft, spacer, and there's the chain. I like the chain they got. It's a triplex chain. You know, one, two, three. Yeah. Kind of like a timing chain in a car or pickup or something. A motor. So. Alright. I'll get this up. Get this mounted. And we got the motor on. Got Coon Dog trying to help here. Go on, Diz. Let her run loose. She ain't been up in a little bit. But anyway. Uh, there's a gasket that goes on the back of this. So I'll get the gasket set. And that's next. And then when I get that on. I'll show you how that kind of looks. Like I said, folks, this ain't a real informative video. This just kind of cover any unexpected things that you might run into that ain't in the manual and just kind of show you how it looks when it's done. So th that is very detailed on that. So but when I get all that done, I'll turn the camera back on, kind of show you that, and we'll go from there. Hey, everybody. Getting closer. Got the motor setting on it. We got the box on it. 
and ready to do the tail. Something I didn't want to cover. See these nice shiny washers? Those was not in the kit. So I had luckily I had some in the shop and I got them on here. Thought I'd mention that when someone does this. You might want to get some washers. Um or look and see if you got some. There was eight flats over here in bolts for this motor. And there was three extra ones and I wasn't sure where they went. And where they went was under here. See these flat washers? So, and it's not mentioned in the instructions over there. So, or at least I couldn't find it. But that'll kind of give everybody a heads up. Those three flat black washers go there. And you're probably going to need to get four washers back here. The It didn't call for it in the book. It just showed the lock washers. Right there on the back, just some lock washers. But the holes were pretty big in the back. And they wasn't setting flat. And I didn't like it. I'm pretty picky when I put something together, so I went ahead and put four washers on it and had them. And we got that in, got the chain tensioner set up. There's a spring back here you pop off. And when you get everything situated, put it on. So, so far everything has been just super easy. So, anyways, that's where we're at now. So, I'm going to go ahead and tighten the motor bolts up. They're loose. You got to leave them loose till you get all this situated. And like I said, get that off, and this bolts in, but it's been super easy. This has been nothing. So, like I said, when you get it, follow the instructions. And this is not supposed to be a super detailed video. I'm just kind of showing you as I go, if I run into something or something. But anyway, we'll get the shaft in here, and we'll get the housing over this. I wanted to show you that before I covered it up, though. And we got the timing chain all set. And it called for... Oh, 75, 90 or something. Some kind of gear oil, but, you know, if you ain't got it, I don't even know if I got it in here. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Yeah, here you go. Calls for 75, 90 gear oil in the housing, but, you know, if you got something a little thicker, I'm not mud skipper, so take it with a little bit of, you know, not 100%, but I'd say a little thicker oil ain't going to hurt it. Cause it's just a chain rolling but anyway so anyways back to business we'll get this done now i'll show you what it's all like when we get finished so i'll finish up and i'll turn the camera on when i'm done and you can see what this looks like on the back of the boat so see you in a bit hey everybody back got it done got it together show you what it looks like ta-da not too bad and of course, I don't know if that's actually where that's going to set or not. I lowered it, but you know, till I get it in the, on the other boat, I'm going to use it on and get it in the water. I don't know, but got everything on, got the shaft on. Went ahead and put the good bushing in. Got it all in. Put a little grease around this. Shoved it in like it's supposed to. Got screws back in it. Got this back on. Got it filled with oil, gear oil, and everything. And like I said, it's really solid, got a good rubber gasket. And the gasket I thought went down here actually went in the back. So I got it on. Got the throttle and everything hooked up. I like a nice long sweep. Cables usually work better. But anyways, and one more thing. This is what it comes with. This is fine, but Mud Skipper, if you're watching, pay attention to this. Uh, only beef I got with these it's on this side on your right side as you're sitting in the boat every American made manufacturer tiller is on this side and you know if they want it over here fine no big deal there's two rings but put two on the other side where I can switch this tiller over because I'm used to having the tiller handle on that side as well as you know every boat that's ever been run over here in the U.S., all the handles are on that side. But that's the only beef I got with it. But like I said, Mud Skipper, if you're watching, see these two little deals? It wouldn't cost you nothing. Put two over here. And then I, you can put this handle on either side. So, other than that, I have no complaints. And, while we're at it, everybody wants to see it in action. Hold on. Hey, look at that. Running like a dog. Oh, she's a little cold natured. Hold on. 
See if I can do it without killing it. There we go. So, in there and working. All done. And like I said, I'm probably later going to, most of my motors like this, and both of them I got off mud skipper, what I did, I moved tillers over here. And I put a twist throttle on it like a motorcycle and a push button is built in the whirlpool throttle. They call them if you go to search one on Amazon or eBay. It's a whirlpool throttle or twist throttle will come up too. But I'm going to probably move it over here and put the kill switch all into handling everything that way and change that around. So that's just me. That's just a preference. But this will work. This will work fine. I'm just, I don't like it. I'm not used to it and I want one over here. And there is a bar sticking out so I can make something. So stay tuned for that video. And one more thing I'm going to do, see how this is setting. These are supposed to barely be in the water. And this is pretty tough on this transom this far up. I dropped it way down, now it's cutting into it. I'm probably going to cut this off. And what I want to do is drop this down and put a longer pin in here. And instead of this motor on an angle, I want to get it as close to level as I can. If the camera's picking that up, see how I got it picked up with my arm see the big gap so get an extra long bolt and it won't be no big deal to adjust and then I can drop this move the prop still where it needs to be and have this sitting lower I don't like my engines on an angle like that so but there you go those are the two about the only two real gripes I got with it I like it I love it you can't beat it for the money and like I said one good thing about uh, mud skipper they're really good any, I know any part for that I can call in and get it and anybody that works on their own stuff knows just how valuable that is so like I said much Kipper if you're watching you need these two little rings this bar sits in you need two right here wouldn't cost you nothing and it'd fix a lot of problems for me so and anybody else buying it because like I said all US tillers on this side I might be wrong but I'm pretty sure I'm right because every one I've ever run for years and years has been on that side so but anyway all right, folks, well, there it is. This wasn't a super, super in-depth build video, and it wasn't supposed to be, so don't thumbs down me over it. I just kind of want to show everybody how it was, and as far as putting this together, this thing is easy. If you got any DIY knowledge, this is going to be a piece of cake. And these instructions that come with it are awesome. they got good pictures. They're very detailed. They're easy to follow. So I have no doubt anybody can put this together. So if you're thinking about it and you're scared because you got to put it together, don't be scared. It, it's easy. It really is. It's super, super easy. So, all right. Now, stay tuned. We're going to do a lot of gigging and a lot of fishing with this motor. Uh, it is going to go on a different boat. This one's just out here for the build. So I had something to put this on. But you're going to see this on the lake a lot. We're going to do a lot of fishing, a lot of gigging. And I might even dig my bow out of the closet and do some bow fishing. So, if you're into that, go ahead, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you'll know when it's going to happen. So, and like I said, if anybody's thinking of doing this, easy. Go ahead and get one. I love the mud motors. I've run them in gigging boats for a long time. I just wanted something bigger than what I had. So, we're going this route. So, I guess that's it for this video. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.